Hey there guys, Chet here. If you use GitHub to manage your code, what if you could automate parts of your workflow like creating issues from bug reports or getting notifications for new pull requests? To do that, you first need to connect N8N to GitHub and I will show you exactly how to do that today. But before we touch anything in N8N, our first stop is our GitHub account. We need to generate a special key, which GitHub calls a personal access token. This token is what will allow N8N to securely access our GitHub account on our behalf. To get started, go to your GitHub settings by clicking your profile picture. In the left-hand menu, scroll all the way down and click on developer settings. Inside the developer settings, click on personal access tokens from the menu and then choose tokens or classic option. This is the type of token that we will use for our N8N connection because it is a very straightforward and reliable method. Now that we're in the right place, we can generate our new token. So click on the button that says generate new token and then select the generate new token classic option. This will take you to the configuration page for our new key. First, you need to add a note. This is just a name for your token so that you can remember what it's for. I'll call mine something simple like N8N connection. Next, you should set an expiration date. For security reasons, it's always good to have your tokens expire. You can choose 30 or 90 days. Now, the most important part here is selecting the scopes. Scopes are the permissions that you give to this token. They define exactly what N8N will be allowed to do. For example, if you want to manage your repositories, you will need to check the repo scope. After you've selected your scope, scroll to the bottom and click the generate token button. GitHub will now show you your new token. This is the only time you will ever see this full key, so it is very important that you copy it right now. With our GitHub token copied, we can finally head back over to N8N and finish the connection. In your N8N account, click the plus button at the top left hover your mouse over credentials, and then choose the personal option. A window will pop up just with a search bar. Type GitHub, and then you will see the GitHub API option. Select that, and then click Continue. This takes us to the final connection page in N8N. It's very simple and just asks for two pieces of information. First, in the Your GitHub Username field, enter your GitHub username. Then, in the Access Token field below it, paste the token that you copied from GitHub just a moment ago. Once both of those fields are filled in, click the Save button. You'll then get a confirmation message that your credential was created. And that's it. You've now securely connected your N8N account to GitHub. So if you found this useful in any way, I go much deeper inside of my school community. I built a complete N8N course where you will learn how to go from beginner to building completely advanced systems and live calls and exclusive templates that you won't find anywhere else. I've put the link for that in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.